Hello, I'm Robert Matson. Welcome to the Intrigue Marketing Series. Whether you're a small company trying to jumpstart your marketing or a larger organization that just wants to take a look and see if you can up your game, all the content you're going to see is going to be appropriate for you. All the tips, tricks, and techniques are going to be presented in small, digestible chunks, meaning you can watch a video and implement immediately. Let's get started. Over the course of this video, I'm going to ask you to do certain things. So when I ask you to do something, feel free to pause the video, get the task done, and then restart. The first thing you're going to do is to list your strengths. Now your strengths are things you do well. Not necessarily the things you do better than anyone else, but the things you want to hang your hat on. I want you to put these strengths into one of four buckets. Is it something that enables your clients to do something they could never do before, something new? Is it something they could do faster than they could ever do before? Is it something they could do better than they could ever do before? Or is it something that they could do cheaper than they could ever do before? Put it into one of those categories. This is a new activity. It might be a bit of a challenge because you've never done it before. So let me give you an example. What if you were an inventor that created a self-peeling orange? What category would you put self-peeling in? Is it new? Well, not really, because your clients could peel oranges before. Is it faster? Could be. You could put it under faster. Is it better? Well, maybe, maybe it does a better job, but probably it's in the ballpark. And is it cheaper? Probably not. In fact, it might be more expensive. So I would put a self-peeling orange, and if I'm going to look at that strength, I'm going to put it in the faster category. Now you've listed your benefits under the four categories. I want you to pick one, and I want you to write a description of it. Tell people how great it is. Go ahead, give it a shot. At this point, you've written a description of your great feature. I want you to take a look at it and see how many times you've used the word I, we, or ours. Things that are talking about how great that is and how great you are as an organization. Then I want you to rewrite it. You can't use I, we, or ours. I want you to talk about you, what the client gets out of it. You're shifting from features to benefits by writing how they can use it to make their life better. Because to be honest, they don't care about your product. They care about how they can use it to make their life better. Go ahead. Now you've rewritten your description of your great feature and you change it from I, basically you and your company bragging about what you do, to you, how people are going to utilize that feature to do a better job in their lives. Because to be honest, people don't care about your features. They care about how you can help them be better. That's the first tip of the series. There are more coming. Thank you for your time.